Today we are making a beef short rib ragu. I am going to hit up the short ribs with some sea salt. And then we are gonna be using our 26 centimeter 5.3 Le Creuset Dutch oven. We're gonna get a nice, beautiful sear on that. So this is preheated. And we are going to add in our short ribs, get a nice crisp golden crust. That is a beautiful, perfect sear. Part of the reason people love cooking with Le Creuset is because it's cast iron. You can achieve a really rich sear, which adds depth of flavor. This is gonna be a slowly braised beef short rib ragu. I've prepped our veggies. We've got two carrots, an onion, a celery, stock, and then two to three cloves of garlic. So we can go ahead and remove the short ribs. Look at that sear. That is gonna be perfect for this dish. Look at that. And then to the pan, we are gonna add in right away all of our hair cloth. We're gonna cook this down for about 10 minutes or so. So we are gonna be using this red wine. It's a nice, bold red wine. It's gonna pair nicely with the beef. And as you can see here, we've sauteed the veg down in the same pan. So all these dark bits are all flavor from the sear from the meat. So we are gonna first deglaze with about a cup of really nice, rich red wine. And then we are gonna also drink this wine with the meal. We're deglazing, we're gonna let some of this evaporate. And we want to scrape down the bottom because we wanna incorporate all of those bits. That's all major flavor. And the wine has evaporated, so we're left with all of the flavor. I've got some homemade tomato sauce and some homemade beef stock. A liter of each, we're gonna go ahead, add that in. And next we're gonna add in our beef. Then we're gonna bring this up to a boil and then right down to a low simmer. And to add an extra boost of flavor, we've got our bouquet garni. I've got rosemary and sage fresh. I've tied it up so it will be easy for me to take out later. And the rind of a piece of Parmesan. We're gonna also add that in. I've added some more cracked black pepper, a little bit more salt to season the tomato sauce and the beef stock. Bring it up to a boil, then immediately down to a low simmer. Our ragu has been cooking for about two hours. I'm gonna uncover it and let it continue to cook for the next 30 minutes. So it will nicely reduce and become even thicker. And then we're gonna go ahead and shred the meat off of the rib bones. The meat is now fall off the bone tender. We're gonna just put the meat in a plate so that we can easily shred it. And then we will return the meat to the sauce. The meat is just fall off the bone tender. You can use two forks to shred it, or you can use your fingers. Just comes apart beautifully. Okay, shredded all of the meat. We are gonna add it back into the pot. We've added the short rib meat back into the sauce. I turn the heat off now, it is ready. The next step is making some homemade pasta. 